The other boys were saying things like, Sally's cute. I thought, Sally was nice, but Bobby, he was exciting. <laughs> Initially, there's a feeling of being paralyzed by the thoughts of Asian shame. I thought that this was irreparable damage for our family. I thought, what did we do to cause this terrible thing to happen to her? My secret agenda was I was going to seminaries. My thought was if I could get closer to God, then he would heal me. I would be rewarded. I've always hated cowards and phonies. And as far as I was concerned, if I didn't transition, I was both. And I was gonna live and die a completely fake life. Oh, he looked sassy. He had this, he was in Levi's. He had a white shirt. He had a cigarette in his hand. Oh, those were the red flags. Even at this age, things are a struggle. If anybody ever finds out, I think I have to kill myself. And I remember laying in my bed uh, the night before the surgery, thinking, tomorrow it's a seven hour surgery. You know, you could die on the table. It's not like you're a young person. You're already, you know, over 60. I wanted to be an actor. I tried to be as straight and as masculine as I possibly could be. Sometimes I'm afraid, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna be okay. I looked at this as a celebration. I didn't think I was making any type of statement at all. I can't tell you how many Nisei came up to me and said, it means a lot. We don't tell people this, but our son is gay. Valerie has been known to tell her lesbian Asian friends, if my mother can change, anybody can change. My final words are to love your children deeply. <laughs>